Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to take you through a really quick edit using the Reverie Collection. We're going to start with our base workflow action for the foundation of our edit, and I'm going to use the Deep Vibrant Base from the Workflow All-in-One Actions, and that's just going to give it an overall very uh, vibrant, clean color. And you can see here, it's giving us all these options here within the action. We can go through and adjust and completely customize as we need to, or if we want to tweak it more to our taste, or we can leave it as is. It looks great as it is here, just one click and go. And then to brighten up her face and add just a little bit more warmth, I'm going to add one of the portrait enhancers called Soft Peach Skin Glow, and just very quickly brush that over her face. One of the legs, and you can see here that just brightened her up and gave her a really healthy skin glow. And with those two actions together, here's our before and our after. And the deep vibrant base also gives us a couple other options. It has a brush on brighten layer here, a brush on drama, and a rosy cheeks brush on. And I'm just gonna dab a little bit of rosiness to her cheeks there. And here's our before and after on that again. And then one final touch I'm going to add to this image is one of the blur and softness actions. And this one is called Rich Deep Bokeh. And this one is going to give us a really velvety, soft, almost painted-like look to the image um, where we brush it. And I'm going to just brush it on the background and surrounding her. And brush it on here really for demonstration purposes, I'm going a little bit fast and sloppy with my brushing, but you might, around your subjects, you want to zoom in and make sure that you're not covering any of your subject with this one. And I'm also avoiding, you see this line here where I'm showing you where my cursor is, where she's standing? That's our focal plane, and you see it's in sharp focus all the way across the image. And so I generally stay, stay away from those areas, and so I just brush it on horizontally at the bottom, and then around here where it's already out of focus around her so it stays natural looking. And you can see here is our before and after with the rich deep bokeh brush. And we also have, if you want to add even a little bit more softness to the background, the soft bokeh brush gives us just a softness and doesn't add that uh, velvety deep look like the rich deep bokeh. So this is just going to add a little bit more softness if we wanted to do that. And I'll just show you how that you can see how it's just adding a lot more softness around her. Let me see. Before and after on that soft bokeh brush only. And then our final before and after. Here's our before. And there is our after. And that is using the Reverie Collection from Pink the Moon Photoshop Actions. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you.